All right, so now we want to just get busy and start adding Colorbright Painting, our client, to all the different directories, local directories, and platforms. Now, you might be wondering, where do I get started? Well, again, on the profile sheet that you guys are going to be getting, uh, I have 14 different platforms that you're really going to you're really going to want to make sure that your client is on. Uh, now, your client may be on a couple of these um, platforms. So what you want to do is go ahead and search in the platform for your client's name and see if they're on there they're already. Now, if they're on, say, one of these platforms, but their information is wrong, um, try and, you know, what you're going to have to do is try and, you know, claim the listing because it's probably unclaimed or, if the business owner claimed it and you know forgot the login, uh, you're gonna just want to create a new listing, right? So if you can't access the listing, it's wrong. Like the phone number or the address is wrong. Um, you're gonna want to go ahead and just create a new one, okay? But try to claim it or access it first if you can. Um, so <clears throat> here's so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through. I'm actually gonna show you how to sign up. For one of these listings, I'm not going to go through each one of them. Um, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got about 14 here. It'll take you, I don't know, maybe two, three hours to sign up for all of them. If you've never done this before, I definitely suggest that you go through this and actually sign up for each one so you know like how to do it, um, what they look like, you know, um, all of that. The other option you have is like if you start getting busy and getting more and more clients, you could easily outsource this. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that in a later video. But for right now, um, let's just go through and do one of these. And the other thing is, is if you're watching this and you don't have a client yet, you should be doing this for your business anyway, right? Your agency that you set up. So you should be doing this anyway for your agency. So it's just good practice. So let's go and sign up for one of these. Let's try Manta. And I actually have, I'm going to pull this over here, Manta set up already. So at Manta, uh, you're going to have to sign in to Manta just under your own profile. Or if your client has a profile, you can do that. Um, but just under your own uh, profile, or actually you can create a profile for your client. Um, and then once you sign in, then you would enter all the information and you just hit like add a business right here, right? So let's go through and add the business. And again, I have my profile sheet with all the information right at my fingertip. So all I have to do is copy and paste. So again, I have Colorbright Painting of Long Island, right? Cause that's what we're, I wanna make sure that keyword gets in there uh, as in the title painting on Long Island and also the URL. Okay, here's the address right here. And, and like I say, you'll see it goes really, really quick. Um, if I can get to work. And then we just go. And then we're gonna do choo -choo -choo. Uh, New York, and then the zip code is 11740. How can co contact you? We'll put the website right here, right? Because we want that link. And we want the phone number. Okay. There we go. And my company. All right, so thanks for claiming your business. Finish our quick quick setup and we'll up, upgrade your company page for free. Great. Does this look correct? Yes. We've listed your company. Now we'll show you some enhancements to improve your business. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Target your customer by classifying such as a category. So we have our categories here. So we'll put all right, so we put in painting. We see paint. It's not paint. It's not paint stores. So let's just keep going down, down. Uh, painting contractor. Okay. Yes, this is my business category. 
All right, for some reason, it doesn't look like it's uploading, so let's just do a, upload it later. Would you like to list your company's website? Yes, list this as my website. Uh, okay, again, uh, we see this is correct, uh, except for this one. They're closed on Saturday. So we'll add the business hours, just save and you're done. Save and publish changes. All right, so this is actually an advertisement for uh, Yext. Um, so we don't need it, so we'll say not right now. All right, so here is the company. Let's see if we hit edit company that takes us so we can add our logo here so like once you had edit this is where we're going to want to add our logo all our uh, social links and we're going to want to add more of our you know uh, photos right right so like this one I could put uh, Your painting, I can add the photo here, right? Right, so then if I want to put more information on this photo or on interior painting, um, we can do that. Let's see. Okay, so it's going to ask us for a description on this product <clears throat> all right so i just put a brief description you know we have been helping long island residents paint the interior of their homes for over 50 years um and then here the more the detailed description that i have on my spreadsheet again this is just you know and then i would also add more photos to this um but you know um just because i'm doing this demo i want to keep it short so save and publish there we go, right? And then we can go, okay, there, all right. Um, so this is for the product interior painting. So if we go back to the company page. So we go back to the, actually, the edit, the page. So we're going to want to go through here again, put in our logo, add our social links, add the phone number, contact information, email address, uh, about, we're going to want to put our description in here, and then you know, all the pertinent information that we can. We're gonna to wanna to stick on this page to make it super relevant. And remember, we wanna keep this information consistent. That's why we're gonna have all that stuff at already right here on this profile sheet. So the other thing we wanna do is, um, when we view company, right, you're gonna see right here is our link. And notice in the URL, we have our keyword, and that's very, very important. So what we're going to want to do is, you know, once we have all the info filled out, we're going to go back to our profile sheet, and we're going to make sure that we add our URL here, the username and password that we use to create the account. Um, you know, and this is very important. It's important that we keep all our information on this one sheet for a couple of reasons. One, if we have to ever go in and change something, we don't want to be searching for the login or wondering where it is, right? We want it all here at our ready, all the information on this one spreadsheet. Also, we want to be able to turn this over to our client because if our client gets a review on one of these sites and they want to go in and say edit that review, not edit it, but like respond to it um, or up update a picture or update the description, we want them to have the ability to do that. So, you know, we want to be able to have a document where we have everything on there so we're not scrambling to look for it. This is really, really uh, important, especially when you start getting more and more clients. Um, so really, guys, that's it uh, for the setup. Uh, what I'll do is in the next video, I'm going to actually give you a couple of um, ways that you can go out and try to find more citations for your client, maybe more than the ones I have on the spreadsheet. So we'll see you in the next video.